Hello Santa, how are you? Santa delivers more than 7 billion presents every year. And yet, no one has ever considered returning the favor to the poor man. And so I decided that I will be the one to take on the cold and treacherous journey to a secret house. To get there, I'll have to dog sled and hitchhike my way across the frozen landscapes of the Arctic. There's absolutely no one around here, so I'm a bit scared. And sometimes that means fearing for your life. For some reason, the doors get locked, I don't know why. Okay. But despite the challenges, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to give Santa a present and to make him happy again. And we're off. It's going to be an incredibly long journey. The first stop is going to be Stockholm in Sweden. Let's do it. My first goal was to fly to Stockholm and to buy Santa a gift. Santa Claus, your beard is too long. <laughs> you really need to shave. This is Jorik, by the way, a friend of mine who lives in Stockholm and he's going to join me for part of the adventure, starting with the hunt for a present. I've been delaying this decision for quite a while now because I just don't know what to give him. I've considered giving him every type of drug I could think of. <laughs> <laughs> Diet book. <laughs> All the ideas we have are so disrespectful. <laughs> uh, toothbrush. <laughs> this is not getting better. In the end, we came up with two realistic options. Uh, one was socks. <laughs> I know. And the other one was a best friend necklace. That was actually Jort's idea. Christmas is not about having presents and, and being spoiled. Christmas is about celebration of friendship and connecting with your friends and family. Yeah. So do we get him socks? <laughs> now, I didn't want the best friend necklace because it would just be weird. <laughs> like, hi Santa. Hello. I am 21, but we are best friends, right? <laughs> it's so weird. Santa and Jort was kind of against the idea of socks. I'm socks. a little bit flabbergasted that we've been walking here for an hour and the last idea you come up with it socks. And so, in the end, we opted for both. All right, we got some socks. Better than nothing. <laughs> Say it in a more enthusiastic way. How can I be enthusiastic about socks? With the presents bought, together with some of Jorrit's friends, we hopped on an 18-hour bus to Lapland, the north of Scandinavia and home to Santa Claus. And before I attempt to hitchhike to his home across the frozen lands of the Arctic, we wanted to create more empathy for Santa by experiencing his lifestyle in Lapland. And so, in the following days, we were going to try to see the northern lights, we were going to cruise through the wild on husky sleighs, and we were going to take a plunge in the frozen lakes of the Arctic. Part one of learning about the lifestyle of Santa, we are going to see the northern lights tonight. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's been this guy's dream for so many years now to see the northern lights and after hours upon hours of waiting with temperatures around minus 20 at last the sky started to light up oh. what? we are currently watching the northern lights Woo very nice <laughs> now i had seen them before but not like this but perhaps what was even better than seeing the northern lights was seeing your excitement guys my life is complete. He's been telling me about seeing the Northern Lights for years, and now that dream was finally complete. Holy shit, you saw the pictures? I have never been so happy and so excited in my life. And after that beautiful night, the activities were only gonna get better. It was time to go on a husky safari across the magical frozen lands of Lapland. This tough looking beast of a Scandinavian man, Niklas, was our guide. And he quickly asked our Australian friend a very important question. In uh, Australia, do you have a special word for a morning wood? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm trying to learn okay. morning wood in uh, every, every language. Every yeah. Language. In Dutch, in Dutch it's house. Steif and penis, or... <laughs> yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah, it is. So what is it in Swedish? Morgonstond. Morgonstond. Yeah. <laughs> Italy, they say Alza Bandiera. Morgenlatte. Morgenlatte. <laughs> How many? In Thai. We were loving Santa's lifestyle so far, but there was one more thing we wanted to experience before I would visit it. All right, we have heard that Santa practices the Wim Hof method. For those who don't know what that is, it's basically going into cold water with extreme temperatures. Ah! And after a lot of convincing, we got our friends to join us. All right, it is minus 14. <laughs> and we are going into the water. Let's do it. Woo! Let's go, let's go, man. We learned about the Wim Hof method a few years ago and ever since we go into cold water whenever we can. This was by far our coldest plunge yet and this time we decided to attempt three minutes in the lake. So any comments? How does it feel? Oh great. Really nice. It's yeah. like a... Uh... <laughs> now this can actually be quite dangerous so please don't try this yourself without proper training. 
I have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pee! The benefits of cold exposure are incredible. And apart from the benefits, we just love the challenge of it. The presence you feel in the cold and the thrill you feel afterwards. You've been there about a minute now. All right, easy One clap. more minute for me. Shout out to Wim Hof. Wim we Hof, if you. you're seeing this, we love you. Let the body do what the body is capable of doing. This is nature, guys. <laughs> no ego. We ego. <laughs> At the start, I was like, there's no way I'm doing three, but you get used to it. Three, two, one. Mama! Woo! We did it! Woo! You might still not be convinced, but trust me, the feeling you feel after conquering the cold is truly Woo! worth the struggle. It was time to visit Santa. Over the course of five days, we had crossed some epic things of our bucket list and gotten a better understanding of the lifestyle of Santa. The plan was for me to continue my travels alone to Rovaniemi in Finland, which is Santa's village. And so I joined Jorrit briefly on the bus ride back to Stockholm and got dropped off in a little village called Överkalix. The next day, my hotel host kindly gave me a ride to the Finnish border where I started my attempt to hitchhike to Santa. Thank you so much. You think I will make it? <laughs> my hotel host was skeptical that I'd make it and to be honest he had a good reason for that it was absolutely freezing outside oh it's snowing you see me on the news good luck bye bye uh, um I might be fucked. It's 100 kilometers still to go. There's absolutely no one around here. So I'm a bit scared because it'll also get dark in like a few hours. At the time I was in Lapland, there was only about four to five hours of daylight every day, which meant it would be dark at two in the afternoon. And it was around 12 when I was hitchhiking. I needed a ride fast. There's only been one car so far in the past 10 minutes. So I don't know if this was a smart move. People just looking at me like, what the actual f Santa Claus, here I come. Okay, maybe not. I needed to find an alternative. I absolutely needed to make it to Santa's village that same day to catch my flight back home in a few days. And so I quickly discovered that the last bus to Santa's village that day was leaving in 30 minutes from a village that was 90 minutes of walking away. And so I had to run. While I ran, I found a local who could bring me to the bus station. Now this soon turned into one of my scariest hitchhiking experiences. So what is it like to live here? I like living in Finland. You like it? I like the cold and in general, I like the peace and the quiet. The guy seemed very very nice, but I was still in a hurry to make it to the bus in time. And when I checked my Google Maps, I saw we were heading away from the bus station, which really worried me. I told him we were driving the wrong way, but on the turn to the correct direction, he kept driving straight. And my worries now went from missing my bus to this video turning into an episode of Dahmer. How about you come with me? And then, to make things even worse, he said this. For some reason, the doors went locked, I don't know why. Okay. Now, I don't know if my fear was rational, but I was terrified that this guy would kidnap me. I had no idea what this guy was saying at this point. I did play a lot of video games. Okay, that maybe yeah, it could be it. And my brain was fully focused on brainstorming my options of escape. Luckily though, eventually he took the right turn and he actually ended up being a great guy who helped me out a lot with that ride. And my panic was all for nothing in the end. I really appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> there he goes. What an absolute legend. I ended up catching the bus and I made it to Rovaniemi that same day. And the next morning, it was finally time. Santa Claus, it's been too long. You might have been waiting for this your whole life, but this is the moment you've been waiting for. Your present is on its way. I have arrived at the village. It looks pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. Santa has his own little village in the town of Rovaniemi where you can visit him. After checking out his hometown and packing the socks into a beautiful present, it was finally time. Now officially I wasn't allowed to film Santa, so apologies for the bad filming. Hello Santa, how are you? I have a surprise for you. I decided that I will come all the way here from the Netherlands to give you a gift. Oh wow. I've been uh, Santa Claus for more than 400 years. Wow. That's okay. everything I don't remember. All right, this is your present? Oh, for me? Yes, oh, yes. I really like you. I got a present. <laughs> and here it was, the moment I had been waiting for for weeks. Everything I had experienced for the past week had led up to this moment. My anticipation grew as he looked at the present and then you will open it later? Yeah. Okay. Did I actually just travel a full week just to give Santa a present that he didn't open? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but I had one final surprise that he couldn't say no to. This was my uh, my friend's idea. Christmas about celebration of friendship. <laughs> I am 21, but we are best friends, right? <laughs> so weird. Set. I have a necklace for you. <laughs> I will wear this one, and you can wear that one. I see. Uh, and so now we are officially best friends. We are best friends. Is that okay? Yes. yes so Amazing. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. See you on Christmas. <laughs>